Provost Minister on this project called Interfaces, a site study of Queensboro. Now just show of hands, who here enjoys trains? I'll can look around. Okay. <laughs> Maybe show of hands, who here enjoys train whistles running through the neighborhood? <laughs> Take a look around. So stark difference, but this is actually how people feel and the reality towards industrial lands across the region, in New Westminster, and in the neighborhood of Queensboro. Due to technical difficulties, we'll just be one second. feel and the reality of industrial lands across the region in New Westminster and particularly in the neighborhood of Eastern Queensboro. Now historically, Queensboro has been an industrial area for many decades, but this is transitioning fast. We have more people in New Westminster than ever before and residential development pressures that are being built closer to industrial lands to the point that they are now side by side. So as we heard in the previous group, industrial lands are precious. So how do we work with residential development need to accommodate population growth on one end? And on the other, how do you allow industry to continue maintaining and operating within the existing area? So our goal is to address existing and future issues at the industrial and residential interfaces. So what are the issues? You can imagine industry produces externalities, and these byproducts have been negatively impacting residents that are adjacent to these areas. On the screen, these are some of the examples that we identified through our site study and our stakeholder engagement process. So we've developed four approaches to addressing these externalities. First one is access and connectivity. This is about complete streets. So it's valuing pedestrians, bikes, and buses, as well as the trucks, trains, and cars that are necessary in an industrial neighborhood. Next one is physical impacts. This is anything tangible. Structures, the sound barriers, aesthetics, landscaping. Number three is resilience. This talks about having flexible and robust policies that allow industry to persevere as the neighborhood around it transitions and grows. The last one is building community. And this is about celebrating the value that industry brings, not only in jobs, but in essential services for a city. It's also uh, celebrating the local history of the neighborhood. So we identified four streets where we could try out our approaches, and we're going through one tonight, and you can probably guess which one that is. <laughs> Ewan Avenue. This is the current state of Ewan Avenue. It's a main street, the east-west spine through the neighborhood, and it has a rail, runs along it and eventually crosses. Beside the rail, you have hoses, the driveways crossing, and that creates hazards for, for uh, safety and also for noise for the train whistle. The other side, you have the greenway that's shared between pedestrians and bicyclists. And beside that, we have the industry. So we have seven interventions to walk you through. First one is access and connectivity. This is expanding the greenway and separating the pedestrians from the cyclists. Now, Queensboro is ideal because it's flat line. It's ideal for cycling. If we want to be serious about using cycling as a form of transit, we have to separate it to avoid conflicts. Next one is physical impacts. We have two here. The first one is quite obvious. It's a sound barrier. Next one is landscaping. And the issue here is, is safety. In one of our stakeholder meetings, it was brought up people walking along the train tracks. By planting juniper bushes alongside it, you can dissuade people from crossing over the train tracks without creating a visual barrier. Next two are resilience. So the first one is the driveways we talked about. 
And the simple solution is reorienting the hoses off of it. And this is feasible because this whole area is undergoing redevelopment. The next one is setbacks. So currently, there are shipping containers stacked by by right up against the edge of the property, backing on the houses. Our idea for setbacks is to have a gradual stepping back to soften this transition between industry and residences. Last two are building community. One of them is quite simple, it's art. It's making it more visibly, visually pleasing. And the next one is play. And the idea here is to bring a positive feelings and a tangible approach to industry where people would normally only interact with industry at a distance. And this example is from Norway, home of the oil industry. So here we have our seven interventions for this one specific street. We have many more, so please come see our poster afterwards. And our, our goal of this project is to uh, preserve industrial land for economic development while maintaining good relationships with neighboring landscapes. And we think this will help balance industry and residents.